Hey guys, this video will show you how to easily insert Python charts into Excel using the open source library Excel Wings. Let me demonstrate what we are going to cover in this video. In my Excel file I have an example dataset that contains information about the total bill, the tip size, additional information about the customer and the day and time of the customer's visit. Clicking this button will trigger a Python script that will return different charts from various Python libraries. We've got here a matplotlib, seaborn, pandas and plotd chart. Excel Wings support all those libraries. However, we are not only limited to those libraries. We can also use a similar technique to also insert any other images. To demonstrate this, I have prepared a simple stock dashboard. After entering the stock ticker symbol and the period, I will hit the following button. This Python script will plot the stock data in a candlestick chart including the traded volumes for the respective dates and returns a line chart showing the closing price. Ok, and without further ado, let us get started. To explain the Python code, I have created the following Jupyter Notebook which I will also upload to my GitHub page. You will find the link to that GitHub repo in the description box. First things first, we need to install the required dependencies. As mentioned already, we will be using the open source library Excel Wings. I highly recommend to use the latest version of Excel Wings to have access to the newest features. You can do that by typing pip install Excel Wings dash dash upgrade in your command prompt or terminal. Additionally, we also need the pandas library. Once we've gotten that out of the way, I will create an empty workbook using Excel Wings. Throughout the tutorial, we will use this workbook to plot different charts, but for now, I will minimize it. Next, I'm creating a small helper function to insert text into our workbook. We will see this function in action in just a moment. Before plotting any chart, we need to have some data. I will use the tips dataset from the Seaborn library, which you can also find on GitHub. This dataset is the same one as we have seen in the Excel workbook from the intro. And speaking of the Excel workbook, I will place our empty Excel file next to the Jupyter notebook to see the changes after executing the Python code. To kick things off, let us see how to create a matplotlib chart and insert it into Excel. As a first step, I will use my little helper function to insert the heading to cell A2. Before executing the following lines of code, let me shortly explain what we are going to do. First, I am initializing a matplotlib figure object and storing it in a variable called fig. With this figure, I will plot a simple bar chart to show the total bill amount by day. To insert the chart into Excel, we will be using the Excel Wings Pictures Add method. You can perform this method on a worksheet. Inside the method, we've got different arguments. The first one will be our matplotlib figure. Next, I will give the image a name and set update to true. By setting update to true, Excel Wings will replace an existing picture instead of creating a new one if you rerun the code. Then I'm going to define where I want to insert the chart. In my case, I will insert it into the top left corner of cell A4. And lastly, I will also define the height and width. So let me go ahead and generate the chart first. Once done, I will insert the picture into Excel. And that's all there is to it. The code for the following examples will be very similar. Also, for the pandas chart, I will insert a new heading to my worksheet. Then I'm going to create the pandas chart using the plot method on our data frame. I will store the chart in a variable called ax. The only difference to before is that we need to get first the underlying chart object. We can do this by using the getFigure method. Once we've got the figure object, I will return it to cell A21. So first let me generate the chart and then I will insert the chart into Excel. This technique also works with Seaborn charts. First I will insert our heading, then create a chart before returning it to Excel. Now the cool thing is that you can take advantage of the power of the different plotting libraries. For example, in Seaborn you can create a scatter plot with multiple variables in just one line of code. This chart alone gives you already lots of insights into the data. Replicating this kind of chart in Excel might be actually more tedious. However, it seems that not all Seaborn charts are supported in Excel Wings. For example, I was not able to insert a Seaborn pair plot into Excel. When I tried it out, Excel Wings returned a blank chart to Excel. So keep that in mind if you're also running into issues when using the Seaborn library. Let us move on to one of my absolute favorite plotting libraries in Python. 
Plotly. Inserting Plotly charts into Excel was only available in the paid version of Excel Wings. However, since version 24, this feature is now also available in the open source version. In addition to Plotly, you will also need the Kalido, PSUtil and Request library. I have those libraries already installed. As before, I will insert the heading to my worksheet. Then I'm going to generate the Plotly chart before inserting it into Excel. In general, inserting Plotly charts will take a bit more time compared to the Seaborn or Pandas charts. But with that said, you could, of course, take full advantage of the Plotly library and create more sophisticated charts. I also added a target line on my example and inserted an annotation to indicate that the respective date was below the target. However, those additional steps do not change anything on how we plot the chart in Excel. As seen many times before, I'm also using the pictures add method with the fig variable. And this concludes the list of the supporting plotting libraries in Excel Wings. Yet, you're not only limited to mapplotlib, Seaborn, Pandas or Plotly charts. Many plotting libraries are allowing you to export charts as an image. In that case, you could insert the picture as we have seen before. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use the MPL Finance module to plot stock data. Additionally, I'm going to import the Y Finance module to retrieve stock prices. After importing the libraries, I will define the output path where I'm going to save the image. Then I'm retrieving the Tesla stock prices for July 2021 before creating the candlestick chart. The MPL Finance library allows us to export the chart as a PNG file. After executing this cell, we should see our candlestick chart in the output directory. Once I have the image, I can go ahead and insert it into our Excel workbook. And last but not least, I will also plot the closing price and return it to Excel. By the way, if you would like me to make a separate video on the MPL Finance library, then let me know in the comments. As a last step, I will save and close the workbook. If this is the only workbook open, I will also quit the Excel instance. And as expected, in my output directory, we will find the Excel file we just have created. If you want, you could also execute the Python code directly from Excel as shown at the beginning of the video. To do that, I will head over to my command prompt and type Excel Wings Quick Start, followed by the project name and the argument standalone. After hitting enter, Excel Wings will initialize a Quick Start project in the directory from where you ran this command. In my case, I will find the project on my desktop. If you open up this folder, you will find an Excel and Python file. Let me open up both files and place them next to each other. By the way, I have already created an in-depth tutorial on how to combine Excel and Python using the Excel Wings library. I will link that video to the info card above. As a next step, I'm going to insert a button onto my worksheet. Therefore, head over to the Developer tab. If this tab is not visible, right-click on the ribbon, select Developer and hit OK. From here, I will insert a button and assign it to the sample call macro which Excel Wings has inserted into this workbook. If you click this button, you should see Hello Excel Wings in cell A1. To demonstrate how we can now insert a chart to Excel, I will create some dummy sales figures using Excel's rent between function. In the Python file, I will now convert this data into a pandas data frame. In my case, the data starts from cell A1. In the options, I will specify the converter as a pandas data frame. Additionally, I'm going to set the index to false. To return all the data and not only cell A1, you can set expand to table. In that case, Excel Wings will take the used range from cell A1. Once we have the data frame, I will use pandas to plot a simple bar chart. As seen before, when using pandas, we first need to get the figure object before inserting it into the pictures add method. I will name it bar chart and set update to true and return the chart to cell D6. Before executing the script, I also need to import pandas SPD. Okay, and that's all there is to it. After hitting the button, we will see our simple bar chart. I will also upload the workbook, which I have shown you at the beginning of the video. Feel free to have a look at the code. Basically, I just took the code from the Jupyter Notebook and placed it into a Python file. To structure the code, I have declared separate functions for the different charts. Okay guys, and that's it for this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.